everybody I'm Amy if you're new here welcome and if you're returning welcome back uh, today we're doing something just a little different just a little um, I decided to do my Ipsy I wanted to do my Ipsy and do it versus BoxyCharm. So I want to kind of see how that would go and see if you guys like it. And if you do, then maybe we'll do this like this every month. Then if you don't, then we'll go back to the way it was before. So, um, all right. Before we jump into that, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and join our little family. And uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you are notified of all my upcoming videos. And if you wouldn't mind, give this video a big thumbs up. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, all right, so, Ipsy is $25 a month and you get five full-size beauty products so and BoxyCharm now is also $25 a month and you get five full-size beauty products so I thought let's see how they compare to each other see which one we like better what do you say guys what do you think all right um, we'll start with Ipsy and, uh, go from there. So, let's cut this bebe open and see what we got. Alright, come on. <laughs> it doesn't want to cut open. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay. Alright, well, to you, from you, <laughs> and uh, discover yourself, and I do have some add-ons, by the way, so there are some add-ons in here, but, yeah, open it up, and uh, there she is. So, alright. Let's see. Let's find the card. There's the card. And the theme this month is Clean Slate. And it says, This is your year. Say goodbye to what no longer serves. Or, sorry, no longer serves you. I believe I made that same mistake with my ipsy bag <laughs> all right uh habits feelings expired mascara and invite in the new start your year on a path that sets your dreams in stone or start your yeah start yeah that's what yeah i got it right the first time start your year on a path that sets your dreams in stone and then yeah when you open it up and it has all our products and it has the retail value for everything so um, all right so the first thing is the uh, pearlies and it is the blue lotus four in one I adore serum and uh, that is what it looks like right there and it says it hydrates intensively firms and brightens and decreases puffiness and it's for all skin types and sensitive all right so uh, your under eyes are delicate so this serum is designed to handle them with care the 4-in-1 formula contains plant-based powerhouses like 
French marine plants, soy proteins, and vitamin E to target fine lines, crow's feet, dark circles, and puffiness. Um, this retails for $58. That's just crazy. Wow. Okay, so we have a we have a serum, or a I yeah a serum <laughs> for your eyes. Okay, and then the next thing I am pulling out is from Nature's Cartel, and it is a lipstick in gin and platonic. That is what the packaging looks like and And that's, you know, it's nice. It seems darker to me than it shows on camera, so. Um, Alright, I have really been liking these more. It's one you definitely have to build up, like, one swipe, see? So you definitely have to build it, but it's, it felt really nice. So, um, let's see, what does it say? Um, here it is, the perfect pink. That doesn't seem pink to me, but okay. This universally flattering rose-colored lipstick boasts a creamy, non-drying formula that feels as comfy as a balm on the lips. Oh, and it's vegan and cruelty-free, too. Well, double tap to that. And uh, this retails for $15. So, okay. So we have a, a lipstick. I'm all right with that. Like I said, I have really been enjoying regular type lipsticks more lately so um all right the next thing is um from sugar cosmetics and it is the wingman waterproof eyeliner in 01 i'll be back and it says get the best cat eye of your life with this jet black liquid liner it's firm easy to control tip draws clean crisp lines every single time no pro skills required and the best part the formula is 100% waterproof so once it's on it's on um, and this retails for $11.99 and I am NOT going to open it um, it's one I probably am going to keep and try but this is all of the eyeliners that I have open right now and you can't see the little ones that are down here so and you can't and it's not counting the um, ones that are you know liquid but have the you know the you know the other kind um, so I don't really want to open this one just yet so yeah but I do want to try this because um, I've heard it's it, it or not I've heard but I saw an unboxing and they kind of tested it out and it and it looked pretty good so I do want to give it a try um, okay so next up we have from 
Norris. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm not sure. I think that's how you pronounce it. N Norris. And it's the Skin Meditation Gel Cream. Um, fluctuating hormones, especially around your period, can make your skin super sensitive. Luckily, this soothing gel cream is here to help it chill out. It's loaded with cooling peppermint oil and hy hydrating hyaluronic acid to give you soft, dewy skin at every stage of your monthly cycle. Um, hmm. Yeah, so this retails for $36. And, you know, hey, I'm like all for skincare that is built around women who have like, you know, hormone issues or period issues or whatever. Um, I'm 42. Um, unfortunately, I had to have a hysterectomy um, a number of years back. And so I don't have a period anymore. Uh, but I have daughters. They have periods. <laughs> so this will probably end up going to one of them to try. So, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind trying it just to give it a try. But I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with it. So, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit the mic. Sorry. But all right. So we have a, a gel cream. And the last thing in the box that isn't an add-on is the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions. And this was my choice item. Um, and this palette retails for $27. And it has... The mirror, obviously, or I mean, not obviously, but of course, and that is what it looks like. My f absolute favorite color is purple, um, so I, you know, I'm, I'm not that huge of a fan of Huda Beauty, but these are really pretty, so I went with it. Um, achieve Instagram worthy Huda level makeup. Uh, even if you don't have their skills with this versatile eyeshadow palette, the collection of three matte and six chrome shades blends like a dream. And the pink and violet colors are shockingly wearable and super flattering too. Um, all right, so let's swatch a few. Um, let me grab my baby wipe because I um you know am using those right now too <laughs> as a as a makeup wipe I'm using a baby wipe right now <laughs> instead um okay so let's swatch some Oh, they're really, I mean, they are nice and soft. And they are really, really pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's five of the colors. So and there's four of them. Uh, that one was really, really pretty swatched. And then there's another one. Oh. 
so there are five of the shades and they just I don't know I think they're pretty so I'm I'm okay with having this palette I personally kind of wish Ipsy would start getting better things to choose from but it is what it is um so my let me show you the bag really quick so the bag uh, looks like looks like this it has the little shimmery side the marbly side and then the back is all marble and it's like a pleather through here you know and then that's just um it's kind of textured and then you've got your strap which i think is cool and then the inside it looks like that and then excuse me um my add-ons yeah i added on this and i wouldn't have added on this because if i'd known that boxy charm was going to be putting it in the premium box because i ended up getting it in the premium box so this one's mine this one's going to be going in a giveaway so it's going to be going to one of you guys and then i did add on the the Farrah brush I just I couldn't resist I just thought it you know I really loved the marble handle look with the rose gold barrel and then the bristles just looked really nice and it's you know I just think it's gonna be a nice brush so I added that on and then I added on uh, now I kind of expected them to be just a little bit bigger but you know it's at least enough to try it out but I added on the per four-in-one pressed mineral makeup broad spectrum you know whatever I added these on now I added these on and I added on both of them because they didn't put the third one in that they had shown that they were gonna have um, which actually would have been the perfect shade for me um, so I added on the light one and the golden medium because I could put the golden medium on go over it with the light and voila I have a close to perfect shade so and I wanted to try these out and see if they're any good I've been more into the powder type foundations um, or loose powder foundations lately because it's just a lot faster and um, yeah it's a lot easier for me and then the last thing I added on was uh the balm uh alternative rock uh volume one face palette um so the that was the outside and then that is what it looks like and it does have a round mirror and then there you have your shades your eyeshadows and then you have a highlighter a blush and a bronzer so I got that to I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet I don't I hadn't decided if I got it to keep for myself or to give away yet um 
because it looked like it would be something handy for when I go like go visit my mom or something just to take and have one thing to use so but yeah those were my add-ons um but anyway um so back to recapping what we got in our ipsy I will pop the total value of everything in the ipsy up on the screen um so we have the bag we have the uh huda palette very pretty we have the uh gel cream from nors we have the uh sugar black eyeliner which Come on, let's start getting some colors, please. Uh, the Nature's Cartel lipstick. And the uh, Pearlese I Adore Serum. Um, yeah, so uh, that is it. That is all for Ipsy. Um, all right, let's move on over to BoxyCharm, y'all. See what BoxyCharm has in store for us. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's cut her open. to sharpen my scissors. <laughs> Alright. Hello, Chalmer. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what. I'm a little scared because I'm really hoping there's something in here. But, yeah. <laughs> then there's the infamous red inside. Then there is all of our goodies. Okay. So... Here's the card, and the theme this month is Breaking the Ice, and I have version 22. Okay, so right off the top, we have the Skin & Co. Face Gamage, you guys. I have like four things of this. So this is going to be in a few giveaways. <laughs> so, I have like two that are like this size and I have like two little ones. So <laughs> Okay, so the uh Skinner and Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Face Gomage. A delicate exfoliating cream with a rich texture and soothing fragrance. Truffle Therapy Face Gommage is a lush formula combining the best of the iconic Mediterranean lifestyle and the luxury Italian spa experience. A beauty cabinet staple, the Truffle Therapy Face Gommage features sweet almond oil, gentle apricot seed powder, and our unique and exclusive black winter truffle extract, which has a high concentrate of superoxide dismutase, a powerful free radical scavenger that reduces the signs of aging, gently buff away and erase dull lackluster skin, revealing a more luminous and healthy complexion. And this retails for $28. So, alright. And the next thing I am pulling out is from Avant. And it is the 8 hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. The 8-Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask works to reveal more youthful and beautiful skin overnight. 
It helps to tighten the skin and lessen the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. And this retails for $107. And yes, Yvonne is very, very, very expensive. So, okay. So, okay guys. It's the uh, pretty vulgar concealer. <laughs> um, yeah, the pretty vulgar undercover concealer is a lightweight gel serum concealer formulated to be hydrating, buildable, and provide medium coverage with a natural flawless finish infused with vitamin E and galactarabian rabianinin <laughs> to keep skin moisturized and to rejuvenate and improve the skin's appearance. The angled dull fit applicator is easy to use and precisely applies the velvet, velvety soft formula to visibly brighten the complexion and cover dark, dark circles. This blendable, long wearing concealer is great for all skin types. And this, sorry, and this retails for $25. Alright, so I got mine in the shade. Uh, uh, the middle ground. Yeah, the middle ground. But I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. I think it's going to be too dark. But let's see. And there's the applicator. I think it's going to be too dark. Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at that. That's way, way too dark. Yeah, that's way too dark. It's depressing. So... Um, let's see, I'm trying to see about blending it out, see what I get. Yeah, no, that's still way too dark. That's way too dark? Nope, that won't work. So... Okay, well, there's a concealer. <laughs> um, Alright, so the next thing I am pulling out, you guys, I was, uh, never mind, I'll tell you at the end. The next thing I'm pulling out is from, where are you from? Who are you from? Cuban? 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 Cuvin, I think. Cuvin Studio. And this is something I have never I've heard of. But, um, Cuvin Studio, and it's a matte liquid lip stain. Okay, and it says, if you're a full coverage enthusiast, this matte liquid lip stain, lip satin, is your superhero. Our extremely pigmented formula gives you a true matte finish in a one coat in one coat with 12 hour performance. And this retails for $17. And this came in the shade Thick Skin. Okay. Um, I mean, I like the packaging. The packaging is really very cute. It's good packaging. Um, 
Okay. That's what it looks like. Um, it's, it's pretty. It's just a uh, nude. It's pretty though. I mean, it's pretty brown. So, alright. So we have a brown lipstick. Okay. And then the last thing in the box is from Ace uh, Butte or Butte or Beauty or whatever. And it's the um, Vintage Dawn palette. Um, yeah. And yeah, the Vintage John palette. <laughs> I got a brain brain fart for a minute there. Anyway, um, yeah, the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn palette. And it has a mirror. And that is what it looks like. And I got this because I got the other one in add-ons. So I have both palettes actually. And let me clean my arm off and I will do some swatches for you. Okay. All right. Let's do some swatches. Um, swatch that yellow and that orange. It's not, it's not like it's uh, picking up well. It's weird. Let's try the blue. Ooh, that came out. Ooh, they're like crazy. Alright, and then it's not very soft. I mean, the shimmers aren't very soft. But, so, but do you see how that one just didn't, and that one just, they didn't pick up very good. And then there's that, and then there's that. The blue just is really chunky. And that shimmer just didn't swatch good at all. The red shimmer swatched good, but the blue swimmer, the swimmer, the blue shimmer didn't swatch very good. And the, the dark blue just came out really chunky. So I'm hoping that it performs better. I don't know this it just seems weird I, I've never I've never had an ace beauty or butte palette perform like that before so um so I don't know it's weird but um that's what we got so um the uh ace beauty vintage Dawn palette retails for $34.99. Um, it says the 
Eyeshadow palette features 12 colors that are reminiscent of the beautiful sunrise and sunset witnessed in various locations around the world. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to pro provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. I don't know. I, I don't know. But, yeah. So, alright, you guys. Um, let's recap everything. One more time. Um, we got the um, sorry, there was a hair in it, and I, it was bothering my OCD, so, um, I had to, <laughs> I had to take care of it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, we got the Vintage Dawn palette. Uh, we got the lipstick which is pretty much almost yeah it's pretty much dried down you know it's not really it's not going nowhere so we got the lipstick um we got the concealer that you know it doesn't work for me so um at all <laughs> uh we got a sleeping mask and we got the face gamage. <laughs> um, I can't get a line. I was kind of really hoping for that, um, not Too Faced highlighter, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna add everything up and put it on the screen, um, so you can see the uh, grand total of our box. And, um, yeah, so you guys tell me what you think and which box was your favorite? Um, yeah, I kind of can't believe I'm going to say this this month. Um, I think Ipsy's was my favorite this month and I don't usually say that. Usually it's always BoxyCharm. Um, because Boxy Charm has been killing it. Um, but this month I just, I was not, Boxy Charm just, yeah, wasn't doing it for me. I was not really happy about Boxy Charm this month. My premium box was pretty good. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me, what box was your favorite? Um, and I just, yeah, tell me, please help me with this. <laughs> um, yeah, um, all right, you guys, um, yeah, uh, that's it for today. So please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and join our little family and don't forget to hit that notif or yeah hit that notification bell so you are notified of all my upcoming videos and um, you know yeah give this video a big thumbs up because that just like buttons broken you guys and hey um, if you guys want me to keep doing BoxyCharm versus Ipsy, um, let me know that down in the comments also. So, um, or if you want me to go back to the way it was, you know, let me know that too. Um, yeah, so, uh, follow me on social media, you guys. All my information is uh, down below in the description box. And until next time. I love ya. You guys are awesome. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Wait. Um, I also have an active giveaway going. Don't forget. <laughs> it's on the Look Fantastic Glossy Box. 
and I will link that up in the cards. Um, so go check that out. It ends the end of this month on the 31st. So don't forget to enter. Um, all right now. So um, I love you. You guys are awesome. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.